Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard. This is my channel, and I'm going to have a drink with you folks. I'm not a man to drink much. I did have three drinks, I think, the other day, over a 12-hour period. And this is an alien energy, energy shot. I don't believe they are designed for taste. I believe this one is also quite old. Oh, doesn't that look delightful? And they actually found this while cleaning. Before I take a sip of that, let me remind you, of course, of every thousand subscribers I get across all six of my channels. I do purchase one of these bracelets from 4Ocean. 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that, if you'd be so kind. as a comment, like, and subscribe. You'll be doing your part for a better world. Ugh. Not terrible, actually. But not definitely not good. Doesn't take the cold well. You know, I just got off shift. I just got off a full shift as a security officer. And I'm pausing to make this video, but I realize that I need to get work done. Hence the energy drink. Or energy shot. Or energy shooter. Or whatever you call it. And why do I take such a strong desire to... To do that this morning is because I was setting up my uh, report last night. It was on the hood of my car, or on the roof of my car, and somebody honked. Might have not been at me, but they honked. I think they were meant to try and startle me, but I could be wrong. They could have just been honking to honk. There was no one in front of them, there was no one around them. It was kind of a hey, you honk. But then there could have been someone on the other side of the street. I don't know. But. I realized something. There are days I really hate my job. And my days as a security officer, well, at least working for this company, I can tell you, have a small number to them. Maybe a thousand days. Maybe a few hundred days. May even be another 60 days. But that's security for you. You tend to not last with any one company. For very long and there are fewer and fewer companies so it's getting harder and harder to get a job so what does that mean to me it means that i need to step up my business and try and get these youtube channels going and this morning i was sitting there thinking what kind of a short could i make for my fitness channel which i haven't posted a video on in more than a year and maybe i should cross that bridge when i come to it you know, I have got to get some kind of content for every day for my movie review channel. Then I've got to get some kind of content for every day for this channel. Then I would have to get some kind of content for every day for um, my children's book review channel. And then I believe it would be either... Richard's Word of the Day, or Letters to Cassie and Other Folks. And then finally, the Fitness Channel is essentially the last one. And I would have to have something, some kind of content for every day for a full year before working on those channels is reasonable because, I mean, I start, I do it for a little bit, I drop off. As I drop off, I lose momentum. And it's just, if I could take all the momentum I've, I've, done over the years and push it together I would probably be doing pretty well but I can't so I try not to expand into something else until I have what I'm working on now locked down hard well that's just my day for you I mean hopefully I will spend most of today Cleaning up my house, getting my media workstation ready, 
and my media workstation is designed to share my internet content. Sharing is half the work. Promoting is half the work. Getting that stuff out there is half the work. So if I don't do that, all the rest of this is pointless. That's the world we live in. And I mean, yes, is it possible that I could lose my job, get unemployment, and then have another so many months to to focus on this? Yes, yes it is. But I will tell you this much. If that does happen to me again, and it's likely to, it would be really great if I already had the momentum. Okay? If I already had if I had everything set up perfectly the way I wanted, so that I could just go in there and grind against the problem and grind against the problem. Well, I uh, might be able to just tell people, hey, I don't want to work outside a gate in a dangerous area on a rainy night. You don't pay me enough to do that, so I won't do it. You want to make us think about it? I don't need the job. But I do need the job, so I will work. And quite frankly, I'll work every hour they give me until the day I don't need to anymore. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. I'm Richard. Dean, your ducky says, based on my readings of your strange dimension, you should comment, like, and subscribe.